and garden enthusiasts, it's Mom Tem, and it's the third week of March, and we are all ready for it to look and feel like spring. Of course, it doesn't feel much like spring, but it is starting to look like spring. So I thought today we would walk around the yard, and I would show you some things that are in bloom, and we will hopefully get an opportunity to see the things that are blooming around your home. Right here we have some crocus, and you see you got some bloom in here, we've got a bunch of bloom in here. And of course when we see crocus and other bulbs like paper whites and some other ones, we know that spring has officially arrived. And got some other things blooming here. They're, well they're coming up anyway and not quite blooming. Of course the rabbits have been eating this, but I think this will be alright. I know you guys all know about rabbits and what they can do, but hopefully those will come up and that won't be a problem. Let's go take a look at what else is blooming. All right, in here I have some little daffodils that are coming out that are starting to open. A few more here coming. I have some other daffodils as well. We'll go take a look at those, and I'm not sure if those are quite open yet, but let's go take a look. All right, so I have some more daffodils here. You can see it on my front porch, but not quite open yet, but I think they should be opening in the next few days, so that'll be fun. And down here I want to show you I have some hyacinths. Got some purple hyacinths and some other yellow ones. And I love the hyacinths because they're so fragrant and I love how they smell. And I can sit out on my front porch and I can smell them all the way from the porch. I've got some grape hyacinths too. And if you can see, I don't know if you can see down there, but those little ones that are coming up, those are also really nice and fragrant and they spread, so I really like those as well. Oh, okay, over here I have my bleeding heart. This is a white one. Of course, it's not blooming yet, but it's starting to come up, so hopefully that'll be blooming soon and we can enjoy that as well. All right, let's go on inside now and see what's blooming inside my house. All right, so now we're inside my house and I wanted to show you some of my plants that are blooming inside because I also have lots of things blooming in here. So my Gerber daisies, you see that they're blooming. I've got um, three blooms on here and then we have some more blooms coming as well. So there should be a few more. And then I have some more Gerber daisies over here as well. Got a white one, some red ones, and you see here, got two more coming here as well. So lots of pretty blooms inside the house as well, in addition to the outside house, outside the house. Okay, and I also have this begonia that I had brought in uh, last fall. So I've been overwintering it, and you can see that there's also blooms coming on the begonia, and I'm gonna take this outside and put it in a nice shady spot when the weather gets a little bit <clears throat> gets a little bit better. Also, I wanted to show you my orchid. Um, this is a Phalaenopsis. It's not quite open yet, but it looks like it's, you see that it has a couple spikes on here and it's going to have several blooms, hopefully here in the next week or two. So lots of fun things that are blooming inside as well. So I showed you some of the things that were blooming around my yard and in my home. And of course, there are so many other things that are blooming. And of course, I would love to see them and have you share them with everybody. And if you'd like some more information on early spring blooming perennials, a great resource is, of course, the extension at Iowa State University. And there is a handout that you can download for free that talks about different early spring blooming perennials and you can go to this website and check it out and read more about it and see if you have any of these things in your yard okay for now and we'll share some other things soon and see what else is going in the next week